What it do is your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Support the real. LOMclothingstore.com. Loyalty has nothing to do with someone else, but has everything to do with you. Let's get right off into this, man. So, as I continue with the series, LOM Chronicles, let me just give you the rundown of what happened in part one. Part one was called The Call of Duty. Well, I explained why I was given the call of duty to handle this specific situation. This also was given to a lot of bloggers in the battle rap media. Well, let me just say it was out there for them to uh, do what I'm doing. But because of relationships with Hollow the Don, Battle Rap Media Platform did not want to hinder those relationships with Hollow the Don because the interviews they want from him and things like that. So they decided not to touch it just to keep friendship with Hollow the Don. So they was afraid to touch on this situation because they didn't want to offend Hollow the Don saying that he was in the wrong. Now, with that being said, when I looked into the situation um, and I got to speaking to the brothers and I got everything that I'm giving y'all now, this need to be put out there, especially when people um, heard H Hollow come out saying his side. When he's the popular dude, he's the one with the face. He the one everybody know. So nine times out of ten, if he's saying something, people just going to believe it just off the strength of what he's saying. So um, when it was broke down to me. And like I said, you're going to hear audio tapes. You're going to hear, you're going to see contracts. You're going to see paperwork backing up this whole ordeal of what's going on. I'm like, oh, yeah, that need to be spoken about. That need to be uh, said. So what happened was, um, that's when I took the initiative to like, yeah, man, them brothers need to have their story out there because people really under the impression of this thing. This picture that Hollow is painting, and it's just not true at all of what's going on. It's a complete, total lie. So, yeah, I tell it because I'm battle truth. I wouldn't be battle truth if I don't stand on the truth. So, yeah, I tell this truth, which brings me to, again, that's why I was called of duty in part one to break this thing down. Um, because I'm the better man for it, because this is what I do. And I don't care about relationships and um, I don't care about relationships and whether or not I'm going to get the interview or things like that. No. Don't care about that at all. I care about the truth, period. Now, after that, what happened is. After that, um, I began to look deeper into this situation, talking to them brothers, getting all the facts of what's going on. I heard audio tape, got documents, things like that. So I'm like, yeah, I'll put this out here. But people definitely need to hit it, especially since he's been lying to them. And uh, they got this impression that y'all trying to kill this man and trying to take his money and trying to just get over on him. When these dudes are all the owners of LOM, Hollow do not own LOM like people think he own LOM. These brothers are also the owners. Contract. Documented. Record it. They are the owners also. People need to get that through their head. Because a lot of y'all don't understand that. Also, that was why I was called to do, the, to do this. To get the facts out on this. Second video I did. Was called. Um, in the LOM Chronicles. Um, he stole that too. 
Because a lot of people was under the impression he created LOM, that it came from him. It actually didn't come from him. It came from some guys that was in Houston, Texas, and that was the name of their they group, their crew, their team, LOM, uh, Loyalty Over Money. One of the guys named on Instagram, uh, uh, a brother who was, you know, out there, very popular, getting money and stuff. People know him as Mr. LOM. Mr. Loyalty Over Money. He got all type of jewelry pieces and things that go with the LOM and everything. So, Hollow stole that from them and uh, uh, began marketing it. Now, this was before Robin Duck came on board to even find out the history behind that. They didn't even know the history behind that. Now, with that being said, let's get into... Episode three of how Hollow met Rob. I'm gonna go with Rob first because Rob was there before Duck. And this real important because some people want to know how they even get tied into each other. Well, this is how they got tied into each other. Rob was running a record label called Loyalty Records. It just by coincidence at the time Hollow was pushing or trying to establish loyalty over money clothing. Loyalty over money, the LOM loyalty over money, the clothes he was doing, he was actually uh, in business with some brothers from the UK. They ended up having a fallout. I don't know the nature of the reason why they had the fallout, that much, and neither do Rob and Duck do, but nine times ten, if you, if it's a continuing pattern or something, you basically can ass ass assume what may have been the cause of it. But they ended up having a falling out, and Hollow had a mutual friend of which with a uh, uh, name. Uh, a mutual friend named um, Levio. Levio. And Levio was also friends with Rob. In fact, Levio was on Rob's record label, Loyalty Records. He was one of the artists on it. Levio knew Hollow. Levio knew that Hollow was struggling with the LOM brand. Since the departure of the UK brothers, that was actually the ones who trademarked the name LOM. The, the dude from the UK, they had the LOM and they trademarked it. So it was under them. And they were the ones who was actually pushing it and doing things. And Hollow was the face, the popular face of it. And they had an agreement together. However, they ended up falling out of grace with each other. So Hollow was on his own with this to some degree, even though they still owned it. Hollow, being a bad businessman, still didn't have no money tied up into this thing. Uh, I'm blogging. Come on. Hollow still didn't have no. Um, Hollow didn't have no. Uh, he, Hollow had bad business decisions. And, and things he was doing because financially wise, it wasn't, he, he, he was in a bad situation. He had a brand that could potentially be successful, but didn't have the money to push it, to manufacture, to go into reproductions. You know what I'm saying? So Levio let him know, like, hey, the guy who I'm up under with this record label stuff, he got paper. He loaded. He a businessman. He take care of his business. He on his thing. I could put a word in for you. Hook y'all up together. So Levio, being a mediator, brought Rob and Hollow in together. Hollow began to give his pitch to Rob of what's going on. Rob didn't even know who Hollow was. He knew who uh, certain, like a couple battle rappers was, like Sam Scarfo. He knew who Sam Scarfo was. That, I mean, he go back, back, because they was, uh, had some ties in some type of way. But he didn't really know who Hollow was. So as Hollow began to uh, 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 talk to Rob, tell him his situation, Rob began to look into his situation. 
Rob seen that Hollow did not know how to run a business, establish a business. The LOM that he was producing, uh, uh, saying that he was having running, it wasn't even licensed. You know what I'm saying? As, uh, uh, there was no EIN number on them, and it was no uh, uh, no uh, taxes and stuff being uh, being paid on or nothing. He had a clothing line and an idea of it, but didn't even have the finances to go into reproduction and manufacturing, you know what I'm saying, and things like that. So financially wise, he was in a bad place, which was crazy because um, it had already been running for years. So he didn't really have no money at all. So he come to Rob. Rob agreed to come in to be partners with him. So they signed a 50-50% contract. So Hollow own half, Rob own half. So they have a contract, 50-50 partnership for LOM. Rob began to look into the LOM situations in history. Rob, find, he go to LegalZoom.com to get the contracts to set up the LOM as a real license and corporation and to have it ready for legitimate real business because it wasn't any. Set up the tax ID number, everything. But they had a problem because the LOM, the name was owned by the people in the UK. Rob hired a lawyer out of his own pocket and money, to watch the name when it becomes available again because you have to pay on it monthly. And if you don't pay on it, not monthly, you have to pay on it yearly. And if you don't pay on it, uh, somebody else can pick it up and they'll have 45 days to contest it. So when Rob lawyers let him know that it was open, the LOM was open, they immediately got on top of it and bought it. Rob did. Rob and his lawyer. Uh, he had his lawyer buy it. They bought it. The UK guys did not contest it within the 45-day thing. So it ended up being owned by Rob. So Rob became the owner of LOM, the name. He trademarked. So that's his. So now it's theirs. Now they could actually go even further by establishing everything to it. Now, what Rob ended up doing was this. Rob had other businesses he was running. He was doing other things, uh, uh, taking care of business. He allowed Hollow to still maintain full control over his uh, um, business or idea because he believed Hollow was competent to some degree. So, he allowed Hollow to run it while he was still doing his thing, okay? He put up all the front money. Hollow put up some of it, too. Uh, but Hollow put up, but but Rob put up the majority of all the money to go into the manufacturing, the clothing, you know, setting up everything. Hollow put a little bit in, too, but not as much as Rob did. Rob allowed Hollow to run the business seeing that he was the founder of it, go ahead and keep running it. I'll just be on the side doing what I still have to do and things like that and taking care of other things, but you take care of this. Hollow began to mess up and money wasn't coming up right. So he would call Rob to fix the financial problems that was going on as Rob would continue to come out of his pocket given to fix the problems Hollow was having within the LOM company thing. And it started getting to the point where Rob was like, Hey, look, I ain't putting no more money into this thing, man. So whatever you doing wrong, you doing this thing wrong. You messing up fam. Uh, so before I come back out of my pocket to pay anything, we need to bring in another partner. We're bringing in somebody else. 
to watch over you, to maintain certain things, to handle business the way it properly needs to be done. Because it's obvious you 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 having problems with what you're doing, and I ain't coming out my pocket again for anything, anything. Because I didn't put enough in here, and I still haven't got anything out of it. Remember, Rob was involved with this since 2014. The other partner come in at 2017. So from 2014 to 2017, Rob haven't received a dime. Any money that was coming in, Hollow was pocketing, keeping for himself. Keeping for himself. Even though they are on a 50-50 partnership. These brothers haven't received one dime yet to this day. So when he was painting the picture saying, oh, they want to get money from me. Oh, they trying to uh, take over my company and do this. First of all, it's not your company. You have a contract. You took them people money. They are 50-50 partners with you. It's not your company, period. It wasn't, look, the moment you took on partners, it no longer was a hollow thing. It's a partner thing. It's a corporation. LOM is a corporation. Meaning all parties are liable. All parties are liable. We're going to get off into that too. So when he was coming before the battle rap community, saying things like, oh, I got my company. These guys trying to take it from me and trying to use me, all this. No, that is not the case. In fact, what happened was Hollow was the one that was doing all the using. Continuing to cross partner after partner after partner. Y'all got to ask yourself this question. Hollow said, and this is recorded, he been doing LOM since 2010. If he been doing LOM since 2010 and Rob came in in 2014, why would you need a partner when you was running it four years? Why would you need a partner if you were running it for four years? If you were running it for four years, why haven't why wasn't it established? Why wasn't it legally registered? Why why running that clothing line in four years? You didn't have you didn't have a financial lining to back for it to take care of itself. Four years. But it took you to go out to be uh, uh, introduced to somebody who had paper to put into it to actually get it running legally for the first time under, under somebody who knew what business was, but who trusted you and gave you the power to continue to do what you were doing so it wouldn't look like they were controlling and running your stuff because they were showing they loyalty to you they were showing their loyalty to you and this is what you did so that's common sense for people who know common sense if you were doing this in 2010 you had four years why why wouldn't you why didn't you have any type of success within that four years of running the lom clothing why did it take you to have to have and bring on uh 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 other partners if you were taking care of business and knew what you were doing. So it's obvious he was incompetent or something, misusing funds and didn't know what he was doing for these brothers to even be called on to uh, be partners with him. So that's common sense within itself. So that's how some of these lies are so easily, uh, you could easily tell it. But what he did was took advantage over two brothers who was known for helping out people, helping out brothers and sisters, giving them opportunities and chances to provide and feed for them their families. Rob got a business where he uh he 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 uh employ over 600 people, all 600. Keep in mind this man is feeding 600 families. Hollow took advantage of these situations and then tried to use it as some means you know what I'm saying? To get over on these brothers, play these brothers without knowing business, thinking he can try to gangster them. That's what was happening. Then trying to use his popularity to sabotage the brand by bringing it before the 
battle rap community to, to tarnish these brothers, to hurt their name, and to hurt the LOM brand because he in danger of losing it because of his uh his thievery and his deception and his uh manipulation of what he's doing. That's what this brother is doing now. You get what I'm saying? And that's another reason why I want to tell this story because... You're not only disloyal to them, but you disloyal to the people that supported the brand. You disloyal to yourself. What he was doing was way out of pocket and crazy. And you're going to hear even more and more things. I'm just giving it, I'm breaking it down so cold. It ain't no way y'all could get around this to see exactly the deception and dirt that this man was doing. And everything I'm saying is factual. He knows it's factual. And I challenge him on anything that I'm saying, saying is a lie. I'm challenging him on anything I'm saying is a lie. Because, again, we got audio, paperwork, contracts. So all this stuff is factual. So, and it's common sense. So that's how he met Rob. He met Rob Dulibio, who was a mutual friend of both Rob and Hollow. Livio knew Hollow, had, Livio knew Hollow was in, in trouble. He needed help. So he introduced them to a person who was known for helping people and had the money to back up uh, these type of businesses and make things be ran the legitimate right way. And he introduced Hollow to uh, Rob. Rob heard Hollow's story. Hollow began to uh, let him know about what was going on, where he needed help. Rob, who known for helping people, because this brother, this brother is a is a real, this brother is an African brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Who really like uh, helping out people, even though he from the street, street and got a history of being a straight up real type dude. But he loved people, man, and he always want to see brothers win. He want Rob being Doug. They want to see brothers win. They want to see brothers successful. They don't want brothers thinking that the white man is the only one who can open up opportunities for brothers and things like that. And Hollow used that to his own advantage and, and then tried to get over on them brothers. That's just factual. That's another reason why I wanted to tell these brothers' story, man, because that's bogus. That's out of pocket. And it make brothers like him who want to help out other brothers tend to be more cautious in helping out people who are more genuine because of brothers like Hollow who 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 do the things that they doing. So that's how Hollow met Rob. My next one I'm gonna get off into how Duck came on board. And with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. How Hollow met Rob. Um the money man. With that being said, um remember support the real LOMclothingstore.com. Man, I make this look good. Support the real. LOMclothingstore.com, man. It's your boy Battle Truth, and ain't my judgment. That's in question. It's yours. If you rock with me, you support me and love the things that I'm doing, man. Join my Patreon. Also, click the link in the description box. Join my Patreon. Click the link in the description box and order your Christmas gear, man. Order your Christmas gear, your LOM Christmas gear, man. The the gear is fire. I'm going to even talk about this. The gear is fire and everything. Um, order it. It's, um, it's popping. Get somebody, some of your loved ones, you know, get somebody some LOM gear. You know what I'm saying? Get me some. Order me something, somebody. Order me something for Christmas. Get me some LOM gear. Click the link. The link is in the description box, though. Click the link in the description box to the LOM uh, clothing store.com. LOM clothing store.com. Um, and, um, get your LOM gear. Also in the description box, click the link to my Patreon. Join my Patreon. I got a lot of fire material over there too also. It's your boy Battle Truth. And ain't my judgment, that's some question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.